Here we got the students putting the nitrogen regulator onto the nitrogen tank. So every nitrogen tank needs a regulator installed because the tank pressure is a lot greater than the working pressure that we want. And they need to make sure that they're going to not exceed the pressure on the nameplate, which on this nameplate here, it says the high and low test pressures right here. Right, let's see if we can focus here. Yep, 350 on the high side, 150 on the low side. So because you're going to be, the system's connected up, and you're going to be pressurizing both sides at the same time, make sure you do not exceed 150, and we'll just go up to 100. So they have added a little bit of trace gas. They're going to add a little bit more. they got about 10 pounds of pressure of some nitrogen refrigerant mixture. They're going to go ahead and use a little bit of this recovered refrigerant in this tank, R22, to add a little trace gas. In fact, if you want to go ahead, hook up the hose to the vapor side of the tank. All right, so you're going to, no, no, that's oh, good. Yeah, make sure it's closed first, and then hook up the yellow hose to the vapor side of the tank. All right. Uh, you back it out all the way first. That's tightening. Backing it out the other way. You got it. Yep. And then once it's backed out about six, seven threads, then you can go ahead and you can open up the main valve. And then tight it up all the way. Peg that needle on that gauge because that gauge stops at 50. All right. So over here you're working on adding the... Okay, now you got to purge the hose. So open up the tank. We don't want any air. It doesn't really matter. It's going to be nitrogen anyway, which is mostly air. But go ahead and open up the tank. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Other way. There you go. Back to you. Yeah. Well, you just tightened it really tight, see? So now you got to loosen it. Now you're tightening. Yeah. Yeah, you got to know which way that is there. You got that? Not really. My finger's like the base You got to put the thing in. Well, you just tightened it too much. So now you got to loosen it. Got really? Yeah, you over tightened it, trying to loosen it. There you go. Got it? Uh, not, I'm like, I'm not turning it at all. What's wrong? Look at the size of those arms. Look at the size of those arms. Look at the size of these arms, the little skinny arms. So now I got to come down in here like a teacher and, oh my goodness, you loosened it for me. That's good though. Okay, so he got it open, a little loose. So we're going to add a little bit, so go ahead and you're going to open up the blue gauge and just get it up a little bit more above 10. Just to need a little bit of R22 to mix in with the system. So he's going to add it in, just add it, let a little bit in. Did you purge your hose? Uh, oh no, it didn't purge the hose. That's okay. It's got air in there anyway. We're going to add a bunch of nitrogen. So you got it above 10? Yeah. Alright, so that's going to be good for the electronic leak detector. We can shut the tank off. Switch the hose now to the nitrogen tank. And we're going to bag it up with 100 pounds of nitrogen. So go ahead, Ben Hur, and tighten that up. Or Alicia, go ahead and tighten up the regulator till it gets up and pegs that needle. We got to turn it off. You got the tank off? Check it's on. Yeah. I'm videoing here. I'd get that. You don't want to blow off. Yeah, you're going to be on YouTube today, man. What do you need? Is it off? All the way. Peg it. Good. All right, let's do it this way so we can see the gauge. Hook it up to the nitrogen tank. Nitrogen tank, regulator's got to have a pressure relief device, not installed in series. All right, it's parallel. Okay. All right, so we got our needle. Now go ahead and add the gas through the low side and get it up to as about 100 would be good. Uh, low is low pressure, which is cold, which is blue. To 100? Yes. So open it up. All right, shut her down. Uh, open her back up, get her back up to 100. All right. Now, run the unit a little bit, because by running the unit, you're mixing the nitrogen just for a minute and the refrigerant, but we don't want to run it long. Okay, that's good. All right, now you can take your electronic leak detector and sniff out where you think it's leaking, because you got more pressure, all right, more pressure to let that leak detector work. So go ahead and set it off. And you're going to run that electronic leak detector to find the general area of the leak at about one second for about every half inch. Oh, hear how the tone's changing on the leak detector? So we still got that flare probably needs to be redone.
So you're going to go through, and then we're going to pinpoint the leaks with soap bubbles. All this stuff could be on a test someday that you're going to take. So pinpoint the leak with soap bubbles, clear it out, find all the leaks. Once you find the leaks, we'll fix them. And then uh, this charge of mixture of nitrogen and refrigerant can be blown out. All right, so the only time you can really blow out any refrigerant and they consider it de minimis release. So they're going to find all the leaks, fix them up, and they're good.